We'll do that. Go ahead. Hello, everybody. Thanks for uh, stopping by the shop for another Screwy Tuesday. My name's Chuck. Uh, first uh, little discussion, uh, I think I'm five subscribers from 12,000. Thank you to everybody and uh, please keep hitting that subscribe button and help my channel grow. Uh, tonight's just, uh, I guess we'll call it shop talk. That's what I put on the uh, title. No machining in this one. Uh, I went on another uh, seagull run, of course. <laughs> but uh, so we're going to uh, break away and take a look at some photos and then uh, some discussion of that. Uh, first off, uh, you may look behind me and there's a, in the sense of shop talk, there's a modification there. There is a hose reel that I bought for 25 bucks uh, years ago. It was in the back of my machine room and uh, I had to move it. The reason I had to move it is I got giving free a window air conditioner, you know, like a room air conditioner, uh, from a, uh, a friend that I hadn't seen in uh, 20 plus years. Uh, yeah. So he asked if I wanted it. I said sure. And since my machine room isn't insulated. Um, it does get warm in there, so now I'll have the ability to uh, have it uh, conditioned. Uh, I'll take you back there and we'll see that install. But this hose reel was in, in the uh, location of where I mounted the air conditioner. And I had put the air conditioner outside. Um, excuse me, I had put the hose reel outside, not knowing where to hang it. And then Sunday afternoon, the brainstorm hit me. Perfect location for it. Uh, now I can actually uh, pull into the wood shop from it. I can pull out on the main driveways. Uh, super feed. Uh, just picked up a new hose to uh, run a jumper off an airline in the back. So that's one uh, improvement here in the shop. The second improvement um, is right behind me. But let's uh, click to a photo. Well, as you can see, that's a photo of my new surface plate hanging in the back of my truck right here. Uh, it's a microflat. Uh, came with the stand. And while I was there uh, to purchase this, uh, the fella, his, it was his wife, and the fella had passed away some years back. Well, she opened up a tooling cabinet, and uh, old screwy here went screwy. So, uh, bought a lot more, and... Uh, I'll turn the camera and we'll take a look at that. And uh, the other shop improvement is uh, right above me here. Uh, so in the photo, you saw me lifting the surface plate out of the back of my pickup truck with my electric hoist. Well, when I got done, the electric hoist, you, they're not sensitive. You hit the button and bang, it drops or it pulls. Uh, there's no soft start to it. And I thought about it and I said, I said, uh, I have a coughing hoist, a regular chain hoist. Oh well, i call him later. I have a regular chain hoist that you can pull. And I said to myself, why don't I have that mounted? And so I'll pull the camera here and uh, we'll take a look at that real quick. So hopefully you can see there's the chain hoist, the coffee hoist, adjacent to my electric hoist now. One of the reasons was that the pull chain for adjusting the unit was excessively long. And that used to bug me. And yeah, I could have cut it, but I didn't. And then I finally said, hey, just put a bucket there, hang it on the hook, and catch all the chain. It's at the same height of everything else. And uh, I've used that to pick up almost a 1,000 pounds before. So uh, it'll give me a second opportunity when I need to do something with a little more uh, touch uh, for lifting. Uh, the electric hoist is lifted much more than that, the way I have it mounted up there. So that was a nice uh, shop improvement. And uh, let's uh, turn the camera and look at what I purchased. Well, here's a photo of the items I purchased. 
I've put a lot of the stuff away already, but you can see uh, 5C collets, R8 collets, reamers, drills, um, a uh, tapping, uh, hap tapping head there, uh, a whole box of springs, um, just a whole variety of product uh, that uh, I ended up purchasing. Well, this is following the voiceover on the still picture. I've put most of those items away, um, trying to shop clean. But uh, everything that uh, he, these are all uh, built by this fella. Thompson is his last name. Uh, came from England. And W, I didn't catch his first name from his wife. But just, just fantastic pieces. Um, these are all, everything with his name done in it. These are all matching blocks. Let me uh, slide this stuff out. And I don't know if we can slide forward, so we'll move the camera. Hang on, guys. So you can see there, there's uh, all sorts of chairs that he had built. V-blocks. I, I really don't know what these are used for. I think they're vice hold downs. I got to do some homework on that. But uh, again, I got to clean, but everything with his name on it. I've checked some of this and it is just uh, spot on. Uh, one, two, three blocks. Uh, just really, really nice work that the fella did. And it, as uh, Lipton always says, it's really great to remember a machinist. Uh, he did a lot of uh, prototype work here in Silicon Valley. So my plan with the surface plate is you can see the horizontal bandsaw and the glass beater are right there across from the uh, 10 E. I'm looking at moving those two out into the main shop somewhere. <laughs> Got to figure this out. And there's my new air conditioner back there, that little guy. But back to uh, moving these out, I plan on moving the surface plate back here with some storage and it would be like a calibration area uh, somewhat clean area so i'm looking to do that build build a cabinet and what have you so that's in the future plans and then um, as you know i went and looked at a victor uh, lathe the other day and uh, didn't buy that one and another one i've already been in contact with the uh, seller if i did that the Monarch would move down, the closing would go, and everything would have to come back through that door back there, which will be another challenge. So we'll see if I do uh, end up chasing another lathe. One of the things I have been uh, working on in the shop, and I do have a lot of time in this, it's basically a very good learning experience. Um, a viewer sent in a couple of V-blocks that he had machined and asked me to grind them. And uh, I've been working on getting these things ground. Uh, and it's been a challenge because you have so many various surfaces to uh, get them all true. So uh, I'm not done yet. Uh, I do it when I have some time. And uh, like I said, it's a, it's a brain tease on how to get everything done correctly. But I'm getting there. Okay, in closing out this video, uh, the seller of the uh, surface plate and all the other items, she took me back to a shed and there was three wooden trays and this shed was ready to collapse. The trays were ready to fall apart. All of this stuff was rusty. And this is just a little sample of various items that were in those trays. Lots of time in whoever built those parts. I don't know what they were for. She didn't know what they were for. <clears throat> As I said, all this was rusty. But I, I looked at it and I said, well, you know, there's a lot of unique pieces in here. Shoulder bolts, square head bolts, um, all sorts of unique pieces. And I said, what the hell? I'll uh, clean them and... Uh, I'll clean them and 
put them in a drawer. You never know when you're going to need something. So uh, there it is. They went through the uh, ultrasonic cleaner with a rust uh, item and then through the uh, parts washer to get any last uh, grease off it. There's some drill bushings here also. Some wing nuts, interesting ones. Anyway, uh, I'm just a regular hardware store. So these will go in a drawer. Probably never get touched, but you never know when you need that oddball. It might be something that uh, makes the day. All right, guys. Thanks for uh, stopping by the channel. Uh, good news is uh, Tuesday and Wednesday, I plan on being at Clear Lake in California with a friend, getting a couple days away from work. Really looking excited to do that. And uh, this Friday, I go see the doc and get an update. Okay. Thanks again for stopping by the channel, and uh, we'll see you again.